Hey, welcome back to part seven and we're going to be talking about markdown features in particular about front matter, about tags and backlinks and about file history. So um, what you will notice is if you click on more options, you can actually change the Xcoli draw file to a, a markdown view. And so here you can see this file as a markdown file. I can actually switch to edit mode to look at this file. What you see here is you see the front matter where you can actually add uh, whatever other um, front matter key you want to add like aliases or tags or whatever. You see that the text elements each have a block reference which means that you can reference any text on your drawing using these block references and you can reference it in documents and then at the bottom I have this section with the drawing and you can see this long 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 uh, ugly file which uh, is the description of your drawing. Now what you can do is uh, it's, uh, you can add tags to your um, uh, document so I'm going to add for example the project tag as well as I can add any description I may want and uh, the part between or the part above the text elements section of the document is going to be preserved so this project and any description I want and anything actually I write above this text element is going to be preserved as well as if I write aliases and uh, I'm just going to include whatever uh, call. this is going to be my uh, alias um, that in the uh, front matter is going to be preserved as well. So now if I switch back to uh, the drawing mode, nothing has changed on my drawing. However, uh, in the background, of course, uh, these uh, additions that I made are still there. Now, what I want to show you is I'm going to open this drawing uh, once more uh, right next to uh, this current drawing, especially if I manage to find it. So I'm going to uh, open this in this uh, pane right next to it. And let's just zoom into this a bit. And for example, we'll come down here to um, seven uh, markdown features and I'm going to change this to edit mode. So look at this part of the document here if i edit this document here so i am uh, adding some text then you can see that actually the text that i'm adding is appearing uh, in the drawing so this two are uh, in fact linked now the other bit i want to show you is uh, the this is a mandatory key so XCOLIDRAW plugin, uh, you must have that key in the front matter of an XCOLIDRAW drawing. However, these other two keys, XCOLIDRAW link prefix and link brackets are optional and I can, uh, for example, change this to true. And if I change uh, the front matter key to true, then uh, indeed, uh, when I re-render the picture, uh, then you can see that here so that was not if I would unlock this and lock it again then uh, you can see that uh, the uh, the square brackets uh, are rendered as well but if I come back to this document and I open this up as a markdown then also I can change uh, this prefix and I can put uh, whatever uh, prefix I want maybe I'll just put in this hand and when I change back to uh, the drawing mode then you can see that all of these links now look uh, different and this can be customized uh, to this uh, specific uh, page. Now I think the next interesting bit is 
looking at the links and the uh, backlinks. So I have here these documents reference. So let's just uh, open up uh, one of these. Uh, oops, not like that. Open up uh, one of these documents on the side and let's look at the backlinks for this document and as you would expect you can see that in the backlinks i have the link to my drawing and so that uh, in this case works as expected also if i open up graph view and i look at xcoli draw here you can see here's the drawing and you can see all the different uh, pages that are referenced uh, from my uh, Excoli draw uh, drawing and uh, in addition I can also click on any of these uh, drawings within graph view and the relevant uh, drawing will open up so these links now uh, work uh, completely as any normal uh, link would in uh, obsidian and then finally I cannot actually show you in this case, but I can show you where you would need to look for it is if I right click on a file and I choose a file history, uh, a version history, this is going to be empty and that's because I don't have uh, sync enabled, uh, Obsidian sync enabled on my um, test or demo database so you can see that sync is not available uh, not enabled but if you have obsidian sync then you actually get full file version history back uh, for a year which means that if something happens to your drawing or you want to go back to an earlier version of your drawing uh, you can do that so that was all about the markdown features and next we're going to be talking about templates.